A couple days ago, a major video game studio called Insomniac was hacked by a ransomware group. Insomniac is the studio responsible for the Spider-Man series, most recently Spider-Man 2. And the ransomware group was demanding $2 million by holding this data hostage, threatening to release it to the public. It contained very sensitive information as well as tons of early gameplay footage from their upcoming Wolverine game, which had been announced prior, as well as information on upcoming games all the way up to like 2030. Just a ton of information that they were going to be trying to get money out of in order to keep under wraps. But, as Peter Parker says, we don't negotiate with terrorists. So Insomniac did not give them any money, and over the last 24 hours, Twitter has been flooded with tons of footage from the Wolverine game, as well as tons of information on Insomniac's future projects. This has just been inundating my Twitter timeline. It's like impossible to avoid it at this point. It's just like trying to dodge the rain during a thunderstorm. It, it's been a lot. So this is obviously a pretty big deal because Insomniac is a massive studio. I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with their work. And everyone had been really excited for the Wolverine game. And now, just like a butthole after eating Chipotle on an empty stomach, shit's been leaking. Since the deadline has passed, the hacking group Reseda has now dumped a total of 1.67 terabytes of data, 1.3 million files, onto the internet in the in the wild, in the cyberspace. So that's why you've been seeing so much of it all over Twitter recently. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to show even a single pixel of a screenshot that is released from these leaks or any footage. I'm not going to go over any new titles that are upcoming that have been revealed from this. But I do want to talk about the situation a bit deeper. I know I mentioned this before with like the GTA 6 leaks. But there's really no winning when that happens because all it can ever really serve to do is make people's hype die down from it from seeing something before it's finished. For some reason, people have this inability to comprehend that what they're looking at isn't supposed to be public knowledge because it's still super early. So a lot of people make judgments on the final quality of the product based on these leaks, which means they immediately start writing it off. And in this case, that's happening in a big way right now with a lot of discussions from people suffering from stupid brain disease where they're talking about how disappointing the game looks visually, like it looks janky, the animations are trash, this and that. They're even spreading memes about like the reveal trailer they did for Wolverine versus that same scene in its current state from the leaks. And they don't have the ability to recognize that what they're looking at is still so fucking early this wasn't supposed to be seen yet because it's not done. It's not even close to finished. So you have these fucking posts that are popping off on Twitter saying expectation with the trailer and then reality from the leaks. And it's like, that's not the reality. They are still actively working on this game. Like, it, it, it is still, it doesn't have its makeup on. It's, it's still in the lab. It's still in the oven cooking. I don't understand why they're making such strong judgments based off of these very early leaks here. It's, it's just so frustrating. I don't work for Insomniac and I'm getting offended on their behalf with the awful takes I'm seeing from this. It's so weird to me. And when I was a kid, I used to love leaks. I used to think that was the most exciting shit. I remember going to like old game forums and finding some really blurry fucking negative 240p videos of early Halo 2 vid docs like going over what's going on and there was also like a pretty sizable leak for a game called brute force back then too that i thought was really interesting and when i was a kid i thought it was so hype and it got me really excited to see what it would look like in the final game but now as an adult when these leaks happen i recognize how detrimental it is to the developers because people are so fucking dumb that they can't wrap their mind around the fact that what they're seeing is not indicative of the final quality of the game that's going to come out down the line so what happens is People immediately start shitting on it, and then maybe some people lose interest in it, all based on these early leaks that weren't supposed to hit the, the public consciousness. It's so fucking silly. You just can't really win when it comes to something leaking. You just can't. All you do is lose from it. So, with this hacking group releasing all of this, they have struck a pretty big blow to Insomniac. This is a big deal. Now, if it's whether or not it's going to affect their financials in a massive way, probably not. But at least for right now, they are taking a hit 
from it, and it has taken a lot of the steam out of a lot of their upcoming announcements that I'm sure their teams were really excited to start showing things from and talking about and revealing down the line. So it's just kind of unfortunate. Now again, I don't work for Insomniac. If Wolverine comes out and it's trash, you're not hurting my feelings by insulting it, but at least wait for the game to come out before making a judgment on how it looks or how it plays and shit like that, instead of going by this extremely early footage from these fucking leaks. I guess to dive a bit deeper on that point, I think it's totally reasonable and something I often do to make a judgment on the quality of a game based on the actual marketing materials that they themselves are putting forward because that is them showcasing the game in a state that they think will be indicative of its final state. So if a trailer comes out for Wolverine six months from now and you don't like the way things are looking in that trailer with its gameplay or its visuals or whatever, that's when I think it is totally fine to start forming an opinion on how the game's going to be, if it's gonna be good, bad, or something you might or might not enjoy, because that is an official trailer showcasing the product in a state they are proud enough in to showcase to the world. As opposed to the shit-flinging that's happening right now based on something that is actively still in development. It'd be like getting upset that your chicken is bad because you refuse to wait for it to cook. Like, it doesn't make sense to start judging it while it is still actively cooking. You need to wait for it to be ready and, like, served. Which it's not right now. So I just don't really get all of the big threads I've seen popping off about why Wolverine's going to be terrible because these leaks are showing how bad it is. But yeah, I, I did want to at least go over this because this is one of the bigger leaks I've seen. A lot came out from this and for a long period of time, going from now all the way up to like 2030. So they really did get a, a whole treasure trove of things that they just put out into the public here. And I, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. I know Sony has spoke on this briefly. They have made a statement letting people know that they are aware of what's going on. But anyway, I just wanted to go over this pretty quickly. That's about it. See ya.